Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is perfect squares. Given a positive integer n, find the least number of perfect square numbers which sum to n. For given number 12, we know that 3 would be the right answer because 4, 3 4s is going to be the minimum number of perfect squares. This is a variation of the coin change problem, except now we're using these perfect squares and we're just trying to find what is the minimum number of coins rather than how many combinations there are. Let's start off by making this list of perfect squares. And the way I'll do that is have an incrementer, a current candidate, and call it squares for a list. And all these will be one, one, and this will be a list. Now, while k is less than or equal to the n given to us, what we want to do is just append to our squares k We'll increase our incrementer and we'll recalculate our candidate. So that just be i to the second power. Oops. Okay, so this should give me a list of perfect squares. Let's just make sure that's the case. And yep, so 149, that's what it should look like for this number given to us. Now that we have that, we could create a dynamic programming array and just do a dynamic programming solution. Um, so the way I did that was first I created a list. Oops. Uh, yay. Of the maximum number, the infinite float. So four, uh, it doesn't matter, in range of n plus one. And that's going to give us our DP array. For example, if we had like our list of what one, like one, four, nine. Now we have this DP away that's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, all the way to 12. And what we'll be doing here is if the num target number is, if the coin is less than the target number or less than or equal to, uh, we'll have a zero here and basically figure out, okay, how many coins does it take to get this number? And if we can't reach that number exactly, then what is the number beforehand that we can get? So here it's like one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. But with four, four will be like, okay, it'll take one coin to make four. But for five, we'll check, well, it takes one four as well as subtract by four, see how many coins it takes to make one, and that'd be one. So it's like, oh, two, and so on and so forth. The, the only caveat is to make sure that if it's a multiple, just make sure that if there's no none left, then we could just use the number like fours is going to be better to use to make 12 coins. And we just keep track of the minimum going down this, this array. And we can do it in one single array. Okay. So let's see with four, say, coin in squares. I'll call it S in squares. Um, and for i in range of, we're going to start at 1, because 0 doesn't matter. Zeros are always going to be 0. And go to n plus 1, I believe. Now we want to check, hey, if um, this i is less than, oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Uh, if, if, oh, I guess it's the coin, if the coin is less than or equal to the number we're on, then we need to check, okay, just update our DP array to equal the min of, uh, either one plus DP, um, I minus s, right, this current number minus this coin, or maybe just the DPI is less, so we can just get the minimum of that. But one thing to note is, what if it's a multiple, right? Uh, so we'll have to check for that and say, if the i um, modular s equals to zero, so it's a multiple, well then, uh, just make our candidate i divided by s. This is the number of this specific coin that it would take. And just same thing here. Uh, 
a minimum of candidate or DPI. Else this. So once we're finished with that, let's just look at what our DP array looks like. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything up. And you can see, yeah, look, it looks about right. At the very last number three it is going to be our expected answer, right? So we'll just return DP. Oops, DP. Uh, the nth number. Let's go ahead and submit that. Uh, uh oh. Oh, okay. So that did get accepted. Uh, is this the best solution? Probably not. Definitely not, in fact. Uh, but I thought, you know, I'm kind of at a kind of short on time today, so hopefully that gives you um, my approach, and I'm sure there's better ways, so take a look. Thank you very much.